Hi gardeners. Today we're going to look at what's happening in December in the garden and even today we're still planting. The carrots have grown beautifully in the cold frame. The water bottle is keeping the temperature regulated both for the carrots and for the lettuces. Now there's some of the old ones are beginning to stalk up. I removed one right here and I've planted a new one from our stock out in the regular garden. So we'll be harvesting these beautiful leaves here and having some more salads and more lettuce for topping sandwiches with. Here in bed four, we will be picking spinach. The leaves are vibrant and just the perfect size. Not too big, not too small. And right here, in these freshly divoted handprints of mine, we have 14 new garlic. As long as we can get three weeks of cold weather, those bulbs will get their signal to start growing in the spring. Here in bed seven, bok choy, and the last of our golden beets. We made a wonderful golden beet salad from the ones we harvested a couple of weeks ago. And these will be going out. They're not growing very much. They're small, but they will be tasty. Here's another bok choy that we've been harvesting from. The others are going to go to seed because I see the stalk forming. Let me get back to you and show you. And we're going to let these go to flower, at least two of these. And that way, pollinators will know that we're the garden to come to so that they can get winter nectars. So here is my lettuce bed. And as you see, they're not growing very well. They're subjected to frost, but that's the place where I took the biggest one and I planted it over in the cold frame. So we're using this kind of as a replenishment depot for when the old guys are stalking up and it's time to go. The king of any winter garden is your brassica bed. We're beginning to get the hint of a heart here on the green cabbage. Red cabbage, because of its darker color, absorbs the lower wavelengths of light prevalent in the shorter uh, winter days, and that's already starting to form ahead there. There it is. And this is curling up. So we've got three good cabbages, and also we'll be harvesting the first of our Siberian kale. This is not like other kales which grow huge stalks. This is a good sized leaf right here, as you can see, about the size of my hand. They grow clo uh, lower to the ground, and we think that's one way they're able to still grow down to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see these others, low but wide to catch as much sun as they can. There are some little bug bites, but that's not going to deter us from cooking these up. The Siberian kale is a little sweeter than some of your other kales, which as Senator Kennedy from Louisiana once said, tastes like I want to stay fat. These Siberian kales will be much sweeter for you and you'll like them when you go grow your own food. Even in winter, we have one, two, three, four, five of our beds active. And of course, plenty of other things like weeding and pruning our, uh, but our excuse me, had a, had a brain moment there, uh, pruning our grapes over there. So go out, even in winter, harvest spinach, harvest bok choy, grow your own food.